video will go from unlevered net income to free cash flows. Unlevered net income does not reflect the cash flows to a project for three reasons. First of all, depreciation has been subtracted to compute taxes attributable to the project, but depreciation, amortization, depletion, and other similar expenses are not actually cash flows. In order to counter that, we need to add it back after computing unlevered net income. Capital expenses are not part of the income statement, so they do not appear in unlevered net income. We'll subtract off capital expenses. And changes in net working capital don't appear on the income statement either. We will subtract those off as well. So starting with our unlevered net income forecast, the first thing we do is add back depreciation. This gets us what's called the gross cash flow of the project. We subtract any capital expenditures here. And what we have is the cash flow overall, or the free cash flow for the project. So in the first year, our unlevered net income was $9,000 in research and development expenses after we subtract the tax break from doing that. A seven point five million dollar research I'm sorry capital expenditure and we have this sixteen point five million dollar investment at the beginning of the project. In each of the other years we take the unlevered net income, add depreciation to get the gross cash flow, then we'll subtract the change in working capital. We go from zero to 2.1 million in the first year, so that reduces our cash flow in that year by 2.1 million from 7.2 to 5.1. In the next year, in year three and in year four, they're all the same. No capital investment no change in networking capital. We just add depreciation back to unlevered net income to get the cash flow. And in the last year, we have a depreciation expense that, after taxes, results in a negative unlevered net income of 900. But in fact, that's not a cash outflow, so we add the depreciation back. And what we get is the net result is the tax shelter on depreciation that year of 600. Our working capital falls from 2100 to zero, so that also comes back to us. So our overall cash flow, starting with an unlevered net income of minus 900, adding back depreciation, adding the decrease in working capital, gives us 2700. Or you can compute these directly, computing unlevered net income, adding depreciation, subtracting capital expenses, and the change in working capital. In this case, we'll give you the following. Our sales revenue net of cannibalization was 23.5. Cost of goods sold net of cannibalization was 9.5. sg and expenses, including the opportunity cost of lost rent, was 3000 depreciation 1500 and I'm going to compute this in year one taxes 40 percent then we add back depreciation subtract the capital expenditures which are zero in year one minus the change in working capital would give us exactly the same number 5100 that's all there is to it